guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to today's video. I am wearing the same makeup and outfit as I did wear in my past two videos, but that's just because um, I want to. <laughs> no, I just needed to. I didn't have a chance to uh, film these on separate days, so it's all gonna be filmed in a day. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a review and swatch video on the new Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Kit, which looks just like this. So it basically says tear and share. So you can pretty much just rip this apart <laughs> and share one half with either a friend, a loved one, all of that, and then keep one for yourself or give two to, to someone or keep both for yourself. This lip set retails for $42 US and $50 Canadian. However, it is a $90 valued kit. Uh, you guys know that I do usually tend to review these Sephora favorites kits. I feel like for this holiday season, they are releasing a nice amount, which just really got me extremely excited because they're priced really well and then there are amazing, amazing products that are included in each kit and I'm kind of like, I don't want to miss out, you know? So I will leave this linked down below if you guys want to pick this up for yourselves. I do believe that it is limited edition. So let's go ahead and get started. How I like to do these videos is I show you the product and then do lip swatches, share with you guys my opinions and thoughts on the products and let you know towards the end if it is a worth it kit to pick up. This Sephora Favorites kit includes eight products, two of them being full sizes and six of them being deluxe sizes. So basically like in each little kit there's one full size product and three deluxe sizes so depending on if you want to keep one for yourself and give one to someone else you both do end up getting one full size and three deluxe size i thought that was pretty genius i mean kind of obvious that they would do it because imagine they would put two full size in one and then four and it's like what no so let's start off with this one first i have to say i love that they made it in a way where you can kind of tear it because it just makes it like i don't know it's cool it's like you get two for one you know here's what um the first kit looks like this pretty much made it for me because this is a full-size Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. <laughs> I'm so excited. And this is a gorgeous color. Like, this is everything to me. Here is what Very Victoria looks like. I have to say, I am starting to get into Charlotte Tilbury products. I never thought I would be that kind of girl, but she has amazing pieces and her lip products are seriously no exception. So here's what Very Victoria looks like on the lips and then here's what it looks like swatched very easy to apply extremely smooth and soft on the lips doesn't emphasize um lip texture which i think is amazing it's not crazy pigmented where it's like one swipe and then done it's more like you kind of have to go back and forth like one or two times but i kind of like that because then it's easier to apply it's less of a hassle and then it kind of stays in your lip line because you have more like control in a way at least for me but i love this color it's like a nudish rosy tip type of shade i feel like it's very popular this season. I don't know. I've been seeing this kind of color everywhere. It's not too cool and it's not too warm and I'm kind of like loving it. I also really enjoy the formula of these lipsticks. It feels so high end, so luxurious. The packaging is everything to me and kind of like you made it. Okay, next up we have a deluxe size of the Too Faced Peach Lipstick. This one right here is Sex on the Peach. You guys already know I absolutely love when they make deluxe size products in the same exact packaging as the full size. It makes you feel like you really are getting a bang for your buck. And then also the cutesy vibe lives. Come on, how cute is that? That's the size difference. Here's what Sex on the Peach looks like on the lips. Here's what it looks like swatch, I would say. Hmm. It's probably a bit more mauve-ish than the Charlotte Tilbury one. But you guys can see it's not as mauve on the lips. The formula of this is... A little bit thicker in consistency in, in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury one, but still not as thick on the lips. Feels extremely comfortable. One swipe, has a mousse-like texture. Very, very, very comfortable. And the scent is not overpowering, which I really like because the mist from this line, I was like, kill me now. Um, the next deluxe size product we have here is from the Sephora brand. And this is the um, lip cream in the shade Red Velvet 96. Here's what red velvet looks like on the lips and then here's what it looks like swatched. I applied it a little bit messily, so don't judge me unless you want to, which is fine. Um, but it is a gorgeous red. The consistency of this is so freaking thin. I always hear people talk about these because they're really affordable at Sephora and apparently they're amazing and they really are. Like, it doesn't have a major scent to it. It doesn't feel drying on the lips. It's like a no fuss kind of product. It's easy to build up. This was almost with two applications. This is like a one and a half application, I should say. And I'm sure if I would wear it with a lip liner, it would look a little bit more, you know, seamless and, you know, well intact. But I'm not wearing it with lip liner. Anyways, I love the formula of these. I think that I might look into other shades that they might have because I think that they have over 95 shades in the line, which is crazy. Next up, we have a deluxe size of the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Lipstick in Flamingo Acid. I have to say, this is actually 
a pretty unique color because it's like a pinky raspberry type of shade. I don't think that I have anything like this. I really like the name too, Flamingo Acid. Um, here is what it looks like swatch. These Mademoiselle lipsticks from Fenty are bomb. I'm not just saying that. They're really, really good. They really do last a very long time on the lips. And I find that even hours after wear, it can still kind of look pretty vibrant. I might have to touch up just a little bit here and there just because it's a deeper shade. But I find that the formula is so damn good. I think I own a few little um, deluxe sizes of these and maybe one or two full sizes. But I forgot about them. So now that I got it in the kit, I'm kind of like, yeah, I need every single shade in the line. It's cool, right? All right, now let's move on to what is in the other little kit, I guess. Just to say this one right here is in the tear form. Um, here is what everything looks like situated in there. So I do already own the Laneige um, lip balm in the full size. I'll just give you guys a swatch and let you guys know my opinions. I'm not going to swatch that one, but everything else we're going to play with. So the first deluxe size product we have in the tear kit is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in Rose. So just like the name states, it is a lip balm. I swatched it right over there. I don't even know if you guys can see, but it has a littlest hint of rose to it. I put it on my lips, but there still is a little bit of something from the Fenty lipstick. So this is not necessarily a true color, I should say. But um, what I love about these Fresh Sugar lip balms is firstly, they smell amazing. They have like a really nice lemony scent to them. They feel very moisturizing, great to throw in your bag and kind of use on the go. I like to use these also before bed if I'm going to sleep and I need something like moisturizing it's not super oh, it's not beyond beyond thick but it kind of gives you the benefits of like a lip mask in a way i just really like this it's also really nice to use on bottom of a liquid lipstick i like to do that from time to time and i just find that it works really well i think i've gone through probably like 10 of these little ones um and at least three or four full size of them i don't have the rose one in my life at the moment so i'm very happy to have it again next up we have a deluxe size of the laneige lip sleeping mask so like I mentioned, I already have this in the full size. I don't want to just be wasteful and swatch this. I'll probably give that to my sister or a friend. But yeah, I love this. You guys can tell I do own this in the full size. This is one. Yum. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, I finished up a nice amount. I also purchased a different scent from TJ Maxx. But this is one that I actually purchased from Sephora for the full price tag. I love this. I would recommend it even for the pri full price tag. It does have a thicker consistency to it. You guys can see right about there. It's not necessarily sticky, but this is a true mask. I do wear Invisalign. So if I don't wear a lip balm or mask before I go to sleep, like when I wake up, there's no moisture in my lips at all. It's very dry, very like, uh, not cute, you know? So yeah, I just think that this is really nice. I like that this is a really decent small size because it looks pretty tiny, but there is a ton in here. And you can kind of get an idea of what, you know, this has to offer for your lips. So definitely a winner. I'm so happy that it's included because it's a good product. Next up, we have a deluxe size of the Milk Kush Lip Balm. I do own this in the full size. I do use it also from time to time. It's like near my bed over there. I have like a whole selection and collection of like lip balms. So basically, it's just a really nice lip balm. I wouldn't say there's anything too specific or majorly special about this, but it's still really nice. It has like that pepperminty kind of scent to it. It also has like a very maybe lemony scent, like a hint of lemon in there too. There's a nice amount of product that's included in here. Even if this is a deluxe size, it's retractable, makes things very easy. Just a regular great go-to lip balm that doesn't have a waxy feel and is very moisturizing on the lips. Great to use before bed as well. I find that it does work as good as these guys. And the final lip product that's included in the tear kit is the Roller Ball um, Clear Lip Gloss. This is a full size. This is pretty cool, I have to say. It releases like the perfect amount of products. So you're not being wasteful. It's like, uh -huh. it feels really, really soothing on the lips. I specifically, one second, I'm in the zone now. Um, it doesn't have much color to it. It has a little bit more of like an oily feel to it. So I would consider it more of like a lip oil to an extent. Between a lip oil and a lip balm. Um, it just has a very cooling feeling on the lips. You know what I can kind of compare it to? You know when you like wake up in the morning and you apply like that, like cooling eye stick under your eye and it's kind of like oh life just came back into me it's the same thing with this before your lips like, just i don't know i feel like it makes my brain work faster because <laughs> like okay things are moving these are going i feel some coolness on my face it's also nice to use on lipsticks but i don't love to use it like for that i just like to use it randomly throughout the day with nothing on bottom anyways and that is pretty much it that was everything that was included in the sephora favorites give me more lip kits uh, so the share one and then the tear one. I love the fact that they kind of gave us the best of all the worlds They gave us some full-size lip products. They gave us 
lip products in various different finishes. They gave us lip products in various different colors. And then they also included a nice amount of lip balms. I feel like lip balms are huge these days. I remember like years ago, the only lip balm I ever heard of was the Chopstick, Chopstick brand, right? But now it's like there's so many different options to choose from. And I love that they put it all in here. And also with some of these products, they're pretty new to the game. Like Picoche lip balm is pretty new. Um... I think that's pretty much it. But they're good products. You know, we haven't really seen these products in Sephora Favorites kits. I think last year they did put a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, but it was not this shade. If, if they would have put the same shade, I would have been kind of annoyed. But we have a great selection. I'm very, very happy with this one. I think that they're progressively... Progressive. I think that they're progressively getting better and better. I like the fact that I'm getting my money's worth out of this. Like, I don't feel like, okay, this is just a waste of money, you know? Just show you one last time. Here is what everything looks like. The shades that you're getting in here. Minus like the lip balms in a way. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking this setup for yourselves. If you're going to be skip skipping out on it. I really like it. I think I'm going to get a ton of use out of it. And I think it's curated pretty well. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.